Hi, my name is Raphael Rascala, and I'm Joe Stack. For our senior project, we developed gesture recognition software using computer vision. We employed standard computer vision techniques coupled with an artificial neural network that applies the perceptron learning algorithm. In this video, we'll briefly explain our software's architecture and functionality. Its features include the ability to create a network according to the user's specifications, train the network for any desired gestures, and load a pre-existing network. So let's go ahead and get started. Upon starting the program, the user is presented with an instruction screen. This screen shows hotkeys for different functionalities such as network operations and display options. Now what we're going to do is create a new network. To do that, simply press N. Afterwards, you'll be prompted to name the network and specify the dimensions of the input nodes as well as the number of the gestures or outputs you want recognized. The network immediately becomes active and its outputs are printed to the console. In order to train the network, we must first record training samples. This can be done by pressing the number keys between 0 and 9. Here you can watch as we record training data for four distinct gestures. The values for the current frame's input are stored as training data for the specified gesture. After you're finished recording your training data, you are now ready to train the network. To do so, simply press T and the network will attempt to learn the inputs given. Now that the training is completed, the network can now read the gestures it was trained on with some degree of accuracy. To improve both precision and accuracy of the network, simply record more training data and retrain as necessary. Now we will show you how to load an existing network that has already been trained. This is done by pressing the L key, upon which a list of all available networks will be presented. Select which one you want to load by entering the number corresponding to the network. Now the network is loaded and we can test each gesture that it's been trained for. The program stores network files in individual folders so they are very organized and easy to modify. Inside each folder, there is a file describing the size of the network as well as one to list the weights of the network. These are the files that are read when you load a new network. There is also a data folder which holds files that contain the training data that was stored previously.